Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. It's a very Road to Glory career mode on FIFA 20 with me, our lad. And uh, today, before we get into today's games, I just wanted to show you Declan King from the uh, Youth Academy. We did get him actually in episode 9, it's just that I ran out of time. I wanted to show you him, he's a 17-year-old English winger. As you can see, the stats on screen. We are scouting England at the moment, we've got another two scout reports coming through. Before we get to anything else, let's get to the first game of the episode. Okay, here we go guys. The first game of episode 10 is against Sunderland. We're at Gig Lane. And it's a real acid test for Neil Dans and the boys. So, we're going to go with the lineup today. Um, Fabiani in goal. Tabari Neris and Thiago Ferreira on the fullback. Christian Rossi and Gokturk Demiroglu is the captain in the middle. Atkinson and Crookside in central midfield. Armenicus and Yeboah on the wings. And Goslin supporting Moon Let's see how we get on. And Sunderland are a good side. They're in the top five spots in League One. So if we can get some kind of result. Or at least just bloody the nose and score. Then maybe we can look at. You know possibly improving the squad over the summer. And challenging ourselves next year. Who knows. There's a foul on Moon already. Free kick. Can we get some players into the box? Into Moon Bagner. Right comes in. Oh, and he's taken Moon Bagner down and he stayed down. That doesn't look good. And we'll carry on. And Sunderland will break with the ball. Here comes Gooch into Scoen. Nobody's picking him up. And here comes White. And it's a goal for Sunderland. The boys didn't do a good enough job of marking the man in the middle. And they didn't look at that. Inverted run from Gooch. He was signalled as the danger man at the beginning of this game. And the Sunderland away fans, the Black Cats, have taken a 1-0 lead here. The full back. I'm going to guess it's going to be the right back to Barry Neris. Didn't pick up Gooch's run. Can we get back into it? Goslin. Into Yeboah. Yeboah. He's got to look. Oh, the attack's broken down. Come on, boys. What are you doing to me here? McLaughlin, oh come on, just, just moving it so quickly, Dobson, he goes around the centre back, he's in, and he scored, just like that, they just seem to be so much quicker than us on the ball, and we just, we're stationary, we really got to wake up, otherwise we're going to get a hide in here, he just takes that one touch to go around Demiroglu, he's into it. He's on the edge of the six-yard box. That's not good enough defensively. He just lashes that in at the front post. And look at Danzi. He's really annoyed. And at half-time, we go down two goals to nil with so much work ahead of us. I mean, at this point, we've just got to avoid a, a dropping in the second half. Well in by Neris. Into Atkinson. And now Moon Bagner into Yeboah. Chance for Goslin. Can he pull up all that? Oh, McLaughlin pushes it over the bar. That was a chance. Goslin. Moon Bagner. Into Atkinson. What's he doing this far up the field? Atkinson. Taken down. And it's a free kick. The referee's going to book. It's Flanagan. Referee comes over. And we'll get a free kick. Oh, it's a red card. He's giving him a red card for that challenge on Atkinson. He deemed that to be an unsafe challenge. He did leave his feet, but what do you think, guys? That looks like a harsh decision to me. It's a genuine play for the ball. I know he goes off his feet, but it looked like a yellow to me. Anyway, we've got an extra man for 20 minutes. Let's see if we can make it count. Goslin. Can he get this in? He hasn't scored a free kick yet. Oh, it's a good effort, but well held by McLaughlin in goal for Sunderland. We still haven't scored. Time running out. Neris holds the ball up. Crookside's going to swing this in. Here comes Yeboah. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Let's look at that again. That's never a penalty. It looks like a good win for the ball. And then, what is that? It's Atkinson. He goes to dive. Colby Atkinson, get up. If we're going to score, I want it to be fair. We don't want to con the referee and get 
try and get something from the game. We we lose 2-0 to Sunderland despite that extra man for 20 minutes. They had enough quality to see that through. And we did have one or two chances but nowhere near showed the quality that we're capable of. It's a disappointing result for us really. Let's see what they focus on. So it says here, I mean, Bagner's going to be missing for five days. That's um, We've got Coventry coming up. I'm trying to think when that is. Is that on the Sunday? So he's probably going to be missing for the Coventry game. And maybe make him available for the game against Southend at the end of the month. Um, what do you think of that result, guys? Uh, they didn't. The boys didn't rise to the occasion against a big side. And it's not the first time that we've let ourselves down. It says Sunderland were exceptional today. I'd like you guys to post in the comments what you think about this result. Is there anything that we could change given the injuries that we have? Um, what went wrong? We couldn't play our natural game. Sunderland are a good side in this, in this division. So I'll hope to try and bounce back against Coventry, but we're going to be away. So that's going to be another tough game. So in light of that injury, as you can see, got an email from Faris Moonbagner. He said he's ready to play in the game against Coventry, but it is too soon. He does only have half the um, stamina, so he's only halfway up in terms of his match fitness. So we're going to play Jabo Ibere up front. As you can see, we're at the Rico Arena. I think it changed its name, but I left it as the Rico Arena. Here's our lineup. Same as the last time, it's just that Jabo Bere is up front and Chris Goslin will play in behind him in camp. Um, it's going to be difficult because we didn't win against this side last time at home. And this is the match, if you remember, that Chris Goslin got sent off. So hopefully he has a better game today. Let's see how we get on then against Coventry. See if we can pick up a point here away from home. Darbo, cross, Godden. Oh no! Come on! First you've got to stop the cross and then you've got to... When the cross comes in, you've got to be able to deal with it. Into Goslin. Chance for Goslin. Armenicus gets the ball in. Get your head on it. Oh! Jabo Ibere. That's the kind of opportunity you want to fall to him. Armenicus with a lovely cross into the six-yard box. And the header down. And at half time we go in nil nil. We're holding our own. We've restricted them to a couple of chances, some from long range, but from the one I've shown you, Godden's header and Iberia's header leaves us at nil nil at half time. So far so good. We've just got to maintain our focus. That's not gonna help. Crookside gives it away. And here's Hirula into Kelly. Back to Hirula. Got a mark up here. Into Kelly. Then popping it about nicely. Westbrook. Westbrook to Bapaga. And it's 1-0 Coventry. That is not the start to the second half we wanted. And William Bapaga has scored again against us. Oh. The marking up at times against these top sides. They just popped it around. And then the awareness as well from... Crookside giving the ball away. Got to get back into it. Here's Yeboah. Holds off Darbo. He's done well to get round him. Yeboah's cross. Oh, it's too far. Can we get it? Neris. Well played. Oh, lovely skill. Can he get the cross in? It's a low one. Oh, and Coventry clear. Coventry on the break. Jones. And now McCallum. Oh, he goes past Ferreira like he's not there. Not Ferreira. I think it was Neris. Cross to the back post. We've got to get it clear. Come on, boys. Oh, Jones has scored. It's two. We really needed to keep this our 1-0 game to get any chance of getting something from it. And Coventry have scored. In these two games against Sunderland and Coventry, we've definitely been found out defensively. Chance to break. Latore, that's a fantastic ball. And... Yeboah's in for the second time today behind Darbo. Squares it to so Bosley into Goslin. Oh, he's not got the legs. And Drysdale gets there. Yeboah, time running out. Can we at least get one goal? He's got to get the cross in, though. So Bosley's in there. There's the cross. Oh, but it goes to Wilson. 
And that is it. Referee's going to blow full time. And it's another defeat for Neil Dancer's men. A second defeat on the bounce. And once again, offensively not good enough to create against the top teams. And slack defending has left us punished again. We take a look at the league table halfway through the season. As you can see, Peterborough well in front. Ipswich, Rotherham in third. Sunderland in fourth. Portsmouth and Bolton 5th and 6th, Coventry in 7th, Wickham in 8th on 37 points, there's a crop of them uh, just outside the promotion zones, and then Oxford and Burton Albion 9th and 10th respectively, uh, Bristol Rovers in 11th, Blackpool in 12th, Fleetwood Town on 32 points, Rochdale on 32, and Lincoln City in 15th on 31, and then there's a 7 point gap, it's ourselves, uh, in 17th on 24, MK Dons on 24 in 16th, and Shrewsbury as well in 18th, and then Doncaster, AFC Wimbledon, Accrington, Southend, Gillingham, and Tranmere make up the bottom of the um, table. So, with that being said, two defeats on the bounce. Do we need to change anything against Southend in our final match of December? Before we get to that, we have a scout report from England and we bring in Oliver Lee into the academy, another English left winger. Fantastic physicals, but again, his mentals and technical skills will need to be improved. Uh, so, that's the academy update done. Let's get to the final game of the episode. So, our final game in December is against Southend at home and a good opportunity for us to pick up three points and bounce back from the two straight defeats. Southend are actually got the worst defensive record in the league so really anticipating that we score some goals today. Taylor Reese starts by sending it forward. Humphreys is going to knock it down. Gard has it. Oh and Neris clatters into Gard and stays down. That's a worry for Neil Downs' men who have Two or three injuries themselves already. It's going to add to the problems. Paulson. Great pass from Lotori into Paulson. And now Ibiri. Oh, he should have done better with that opportunity. And he knows it. Let's drag that shot. He's ballooned that shot over. Guard. Holds the ball up from McDonald. Ralph. He's going to go on the, along the outside there. And Ralph crosses it in. Tilmanton heads it away. Phillips. Oh, and Trowley. Spectacular stop from Ben Trowley. And you'll see here, he partially unsighted. He does really well. Into Humphreys. Over to Phillips. And now Humphreys. Oh, and look at this. And Southend have scored before half time. How are we losing to these? And Neil Downs' men. I've really hit a low point here. Just seconds into stoppage time in the first half. And it's Goodchip who has got on the score sheet here. Carved open once more. Didn't react quickly enough to the pass. And they're 1-0 down to South End who are in the relegation zone. So at half time guys we go down 1-0 to Southend United. What can we do in the second half? We've got to get an answer. Perez. Good skill to get by his man. Perez. He holds it up. Drops it off for McDonald. McDonald holds his man. Take a shot. McDonald. Oh, and Taylor pushes it over. Mark McDonald hasn't scored just yet. But he almost opened his account there. He is naturally left footed. Now McDonald inside to Moon Bagner who's just come on. Moon Bagner shows some skill and goes wide to Sayich. I'm going to go back into the penalty area. And here's Lotori. Lotori. Perez. Oh, off the post. We're so close. And they've given it away. Tillmanson. Go short. Moon Bagner. Yes. Come on. There's the goal. It's Faris Moon Bagner. And he has equalised here. Plenty of time for us to go and get that second goal. And given away by Southend. After lots of pressure. Edge of the box. And Taylor is not stopping that. What an emphatic finish. Back from his shoulder injury. 
Missed about a week of action. And that's Faris Moon Bagner's eighth goal in League One. What a first season he's having. Perez chips it up to Iberi. Can we get that second goal? And now Moon Bagner. Oh, he couldn't get past that man. Lotori wins it back. And now Moon Bagner again. Moon Bagner. Oh, I didn't get the power in it that time on his right. We're running out of time. It's worked having him and Iberi up front. And now time running out. Cross and tipped away by Trowley. It's the wrong end of the field for us. We've got to get the ball back. And just whacked away as Phillips is grateful for the point. And we drop points here against South End. We should have won this game, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Definitely three points dropped, even though they're about the same level. Right, that's it, guys, for episode 10. Um, not a great episode in terms of results, but we've got two hard teams out of the way. And obviously, we're hoping to improve into the new year, uh, get some more players trained, bring probably one or two free agents in if we can. That'll be in episode 11, which will be on Wednesday. I hope to see you guys on the channel. Subscribe accounts going up, watch times going up, everything's positive. Um, I appreciate all the support that you guys are giving me and retweets, things like that. So please keep doing that. If you have enjoyed this episode, please consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. And smash the like button. Until then, that's me, Alad, signing off and I'll see you guys on Wednesday.